Hello there. Welcome back to the golf club. Today, we are going to talk about creating surfaces. A lot of people have been asking about this. So let's get into the new Greg Norman course designer. We're pretty excited about this feature. I'm going to start with that. Let's start with a blank slate. We're going to get into some really serious customization of your courses here with the Greg Norman Course Designer. For all those tweakers out there who like to tweak around with their, with their courses, this is going to be right up your alley. So now you can create a you can create a hole with any fairway path that you like. A lot of people have been asking about double dog legs. How do you do that? Can you do that? Well, you definitely can do it now. And here's how. We're going to give you a variety of brushes, um, similar to the ones that you've been using to make your bunkers. And now you can paint in fairway, light rough, heavy rough, wherever you like. So let's start on the blank canvas. We'll show you what we're talking about. So let's go to create and create holes. And now we see our create hole tool. Okay. I think we're going to go with a par four, a little bit of a dog leg here to start out. 387 yard par four has been created for us. Okay. And we're just going to push away the start distance of the fairway. I'm going to start the fairway away a bit further. And you can see now the rough has come in where the fairway was in front of the T. There we go. So this is great. But sometimes you might want that rough to be the, the bare terrain and not rough at all. So first, if you want to start creating surfaces, let's get rid of the existing surfaces. Now this is something you couldn't even do before. So first, we're going to take the heavy rough width down to zero. And we're going to get rid of the light rough as well. And now your rough is just going to cling to the fairway. And when there's no fairway, you get bare general terrain. Now you still need to have the light and heavy rough here because the fairways have to blend into that general terrain layer. So it'll go from fairway to light rough and then to heavy rough. You always need to have those just to get the blending nice. Okay, this is a, this is a complicated tool and it's important to understand the hierarchy. And that is that fairway will always trump light rough, which will always trump heavy rough, which will always trump the general terrain. So that's a lot of trumps. What I really mean is, whatever order you lay these down, the fairway will always be on top of the light rough, which will always be on top of the heavy rough, which will always be on top of the general terrain layer. Now you might be asking what happens when you take the fairway width down to zero as well. Well, you can see here, light rough settings at zero. And if we switch over to the fairway width, bring that down to zero, boom, all disappears. And you couldn't do that before. And that's pretty exciting. Now all that's left is a T, some general terrain and a poor lonely green in the distance. Just flat out desert now between you and the hole. And now gets to the pretty exciting part um, where you can add your own fairway in. You can add your own rough, your own heavy rough. And here's how you do it. You go to the create menu again. And go down to, you guessed it, create surfaces. And now we can have some fun. We have a new contextual menu available to us for rough, heavy rough, fairway, and green. So first we're gonna add some fairway. 
here's the brushes you have to choose from bunch of shapes and you can combine them um, and they will blend together add on to each other so you can really create any shape that you desire and uh, we've included some bigger brushes these are good if you just wanna you just wanna slam down a fairway you can do that pretty easily with one click with those big ones and you can always rotate and resize any of the brushes here so we're going to use one of these big, big brushes right now for demonstration's sake. You can see the original path, obviously, that uh, we had on our hole. We're going to swing this out, though, to the side of the green. Boom. And let's rotate the brush around and uh, make a bit of a turn. Now we're doing uh, some extreme fairway shaping here just for, you know, for demonstration purposes. It's like a lightning bolt of greenness. I like that. Nice. So you can see this is getting pretty tricky. And it's also getting pretty darn fun to design your courses with these brushes. So now let's add some rough. We talked about the trump factor earlier. That's going to come into play here now. So we're going to put this right on top. A little bit larger than our fairway. And that's going to give us a nice little edge around our fairway. Nice, it's going right underneath. Like we mentioned before, fairway trumps the light rough. So when they combine, you get a nice edge that blends your hole nicely into the surrounding terrain. So let's keep on adding some light rough. I'll put another patch here. This is looking Looking pretty good already. And now we'll put it around the green and around the fairway here. Now, if you want, you can definitely add some, some heavy rough. And that'll make things even nicer. So we'll make the brush even bigger. Just put it over top of your hole here. And there you go. Things are getting pretty interesting. This is blending nicely now. Now one important thing that we want to let you know is that when you create your own fairway, you're not going to have those attributes available to you that you had before, like the, the fairway width, start distance, end distance, etc. So when you're creating your own fairway like this, you're kind of saying, thanks, Greg Norman, course designer, but no thanks. I got this one. You're, uh, you're in complete control of your design when you go this route. But you can also delete whatever you create, just like the other objects, just like the other uh, bunkers. So you just need to highlight, and then you can delete or move. whatever you want to do. So there's one more thing I, I wanted to touch on here. It's a blending issue. And if you're a stickler for detail, you might want to blend this uh, T into the general terrain. So we'll put some heavy rough in around this T. Let's get a similar shape and then kind of overlay it on top the way you see here. And there you go. Much nicer much nicer. Now you can go right down and play your brand new mega custom fairway. There we go. Look at that. Double dog legs for days. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Uh, there's one more thing that we want to touch on. This is all well and good when you're in the desert. There's no trees, as you notice here, in the desert. But if one were to change the theme of their custom, nice new course design here, we'll go to themes, and we'll choose the alpine theme. That's going to give us probably some extreme trees. Probably best to demonstrate. And there we have it. 
it's the same hole, different theme. Quite a few trees uh, popped up there. Some seriously fertile soil in the alpine theme. So we've taken away all the rough. And because of that, the trees have grown in on this bare terrain. We can deal with that though, don't worry, don't worry. I can, I can feel your worry. We go back to create surfaces. And now we have an option that we never had before, clear generated objects. And now if we go up and we pick our brush, let's see, what brush? Okay, so now we are going to resize the brush and overlay it on the appropriate area that we want to clear cut. So trees, bushes, any generated object that is within this area is going to disappear. Boom. Oh, so much nicer. And now the trees are gone. First time I saw this blew my mind a little bit. We're, we're really excited with these latest changes that uh, the Greg Norman course designer has undergone. As you can see now, perfectly clear. Wonderful. That's the second part of the uh, tutorial today. We are, uh, as I said, super, super excited for this. Uh, we can't wait to see what you folks build with this new iteration of the Greg Norman Course Designer. Thanks very much for watching and happy course building. See you next time.